Don't play with her, don't be dishonest. Still not understand it, it's logic. What's up, y'all? Welcome, Welcome to, to another, another episode, episode of Truth Be Told, Be Told, where we give it to you raw and the truth unfold. Period. Hey, y'all. Hey. We back. We're back and we're better. That was cute. Um, okay. So we're back. It's episode. No, get on my nerves. Six. Is it six? Oh, five. No, I think it's six. Okay, episode six. Wow, that is, God is good, okay, for the consistency. Is it six? It's, I think oh, it's yeah, it's six. six for real. But God is good. Thank you for, like, the consistency because, honestly, it's been a struggle a little bit on my part. I will have to speak for myself. Wow. I don't be feeling like recording sometimes. Oh, yeah. And I don't either. Like when I'm in my room and like preparing, I'll be feeling like, but then when I get here, I'll be ready. Yeah, I'm ready now. I'm ready to rock and roll, but I was ready to lay down, honestly. Like after this weekend, and if y'all haven't already, by the time this drop, y'all should see our Memorial Day weekend in Atlanta vlog. Mm -hmm. We had a time, okay? Shout out to Keith. That's our friend. We were celebrating like his birthday, going out with him because he be outside all the time. He know mm -hmm. all the moves and stuff. So, we was going with him, and then some of our other friends was in town from out of town. So we just had a lot of fun, but yeah, it was lit. But we got too lit. Aunties well, be tired. I know I did. Yeah, I ain't get that lit. I only drunk one day. It was a three day weekend. I drunk one day. I couldn't do it. It took me two days to recover. Want to be the life of the party now? Sitting <laughs> in that house sick. <laughs> I was so sick. I knew I shouldn't have did that after not drinking. For a whole month. Mm hmm Why did I do that? Grown and fast. Rakiba, please. Grown and fast. You were sleeping in the club. Okay. I got my rest. I knew. I knew that a time was going to come where I needed to rest my eyes. And then we had just ate. And that food was good. And it was heavy. Rakiba, you shouldn't have been sleeping that quick like you was. <laughs> you, you was like you was in the bed. <laughs> no. Like, I know I have my feet that crossed. Don't make no sense. I was rubbing my toes together. Y'all know when y'all rub y'all toes together, that's a real sleep. That don't make no sense. But I was behind everybody. So, I mean, if people see me, they had to be looking real hard because I was in the back. I got a video. And you need to grow up because that's exactly that's what people good be talking about. No, it's not. Right, it's the, no, it's not. I'm going to sleep in a club. Dang. Can't never do stuff with her. And I don't care. And I go to sleep again because I was tired. Like what? We went to a day party, then we went to eat, and then we went to out at night. And they just wanted to keep going and going. Yeah, and they going. wanted to go they, to the after move. They didn't know how to stop. Like, no, they are warriors, and I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. But all in all, we had fun. And like I was saying, just shout out to God for us being consistent mm -hmm. and us getting, you know, here with episode six. So let's start with the cards because. You know, I always forget, so. Yeah. Eager Annie. Be ready. I'm going to do deep. About time. Girl. Help. I'm, I'm, letting, you, I'm letting you do your thing. Look here. at people. All right, let's see y'all. I'm ready. What do you regret not doing when you were younger? I think we did that one before. Oh, we did? Oh. Let's just put it away, but I feel like we done did that one before. Oh. Probably done did most of them, because all you want to do is eat. <laughs> just come on. Yeah, we need to start taking them out, but we forget. Yeah. What was the hardest decision you ever had to make? Mmm. 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 Decision I ever had to make. <sighs> that's this. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, honestly, because I've had some tough decisions, but. Hardest decision I ever had to make? Yeah, I guess like life changing decisions. Life changing decisions. 
don't think I don't think I I don't know. Pick another one. Yeah, that one kinda I don't I can't even really think because I ain't have no hard, like, life-changing decisions. I just had tough decisions in the moment. Mm-hmm. But it wasn't like it was going to change my life. Yeah. I don't know if we want to do this one. What's it say? What thing are you most scared to tell your parents? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. Because I, I already done told them everything. I tell them. I ain't, yeah. I ain't really scared. Another one. Dang, we gonna go through all of them. But they usually give us what we need. This gonna be the one. This gonna be the one. What is something you think everyone should do at least once in their lives? I don't like that. <laughs> like like what? What's going on? This your category. This what you okay, always want to do. This is the last one. This is the last okay, one. Let me shuffle. A little yeah, bit. like it must just be all the lame cards on the top. <laughs> <laughs> What is something you are certain you'll never experience and why? No. Like, let me try. Let me try. Maybe I need to try because it know me. No, it don't. Come on. It's not your turn. Let me do it. I'm trying to help. You wanted somebody to help? I feel like we done kind of already did this too. What? What's the most surprising self-realization you had? Mm-hmm. We just we kind of talked about that la- in our last episode. Yeah, we did. So if y'all haven't seen the last episode, make sure y'all go back and watch that because it got real. But let's do another one. Here, see, we might just need a new category. We might. <laughs> gotta shuffle it for real, like you playing spades. <laughs> I don't know how to shuffle like that. Come on, give me a good one, please. So we can move on. We don't went through the whole deck. <laughs> <laughs> Is that deep? Is are you sure that's deep? Mm. 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 I don't want to get that deep right now. Okay. Uh-huh. This is a good one. It says, how do you get in the way of your own success? Mm. Whoop, there it is. That's the one. How do you get in the way of your own success? Mm. I'm hard-headed. Yeah, just not applying myself. Yeah. For real. I feel like mine would first would be hard headed. Like I'm the type that you can tell me something all day long, and I still gotta go figure it out for myself. And then when I figure it out for myself, I act surprised that it, whatever happened happened. Like yeah. so, mine is being hard headed for one, and for two, um, like I gotta learn how to remain motivated even when like all the hype is gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you know when you first get a goal and you feel real good about it, you want to really mm-hmm. put your all into it and make it succeed. And then eventually, like, stuff starts happening and you kind of lose that momentum. I got to learn how to keep that momentum within myself, even when, like, the glitz and glamour of the goal is gone. That's good. I agree with that, too. Yeah, because, baby, let it get a little rocky. I'm like, all right. I'm still going to do it, but I'm just not as motivated motivated as I was before versus like in the beginning with everything good. Like it's easy to keep doing stuff when everything good, but Mm -hmm. as soon as it get hard, it's like it causes a little riffraff. You be wanting to give up. Yeah, you be wanting to throw the towel in. So yeah, just perseverance. I think that's something I am actively working on, you know, getting better at. But yeah. Yeah. That was a good one. That was good. So what you learned this week? What you did this week? <laughs> I feel like that's how we get our topic. Like, right. talking about stuff we done did for the week. This week... This week, I actually had a good week. Mm. I kind of... Yeah. I kind of relaxed, did what I wanted to do. Because <laughs> I was off. Oh, yeah. Because I was off work, so... Yeah, but... Nothing spectacular. 
I can't. What well, did you ever tell us what happened with that one guy that Who? you was talking to that liked you but you ain't like him? Remember last episode? The last episode? I think the last episode we was talking about how you don't like nice guys. Or not that you don't like nice guys, but you know what? You... Yeah, don't try to make me sound like that. I didn't mean it like that. Y'all remember if y'all watched it? I ain't mean it like that. She just has what is it? You have trouble with affection? I do. Something like that. I forgot what we diagnosed her with last week. But <laughs> anyways, have you talked to that young man that was being so nice to you? I have not. I have not. And oh, you got rid of the flowers. Baby, the flowers was, <laughs> <laughs> the flowers was dead and moldy. It was gnats around them. I had to get rid of them. Oh, man. But no, I Because you didn't even tend to them flowers. That's how you know you had like Yes, that. I was putting water in there. I was putting water in there. Yes, I was. I don't know what was going on with them. No, flowers, like, they a nice gesture, but they die so quick, for real. Like Yeah. Like, I no like the gesture. Do. Like, it's nice and everything. But how some girls be love getting flowers or be pressed about getting flowers, that's not me. I'm not pressed. But I do. I like them. Yeah. yeah. I like them, too. But buy me some shoes. <laughs> whoa <laughs> whoa you gotta well, work your way to that <laughs> something that'll last you know what i'm saying yeah. Bobby something that'll last an article of clothing you know something like that but yeah he was nice he bought me those flowers on our first day mm -hmm. and i really liked that that was nice because i don't i've never i've never had a guy give me flowers on a date me neither well you y'all know i only got flowers one time in life so yeah like, I have never been on, like, a first date, and they brought me flowers. So yeah, that, that was nice. That was really nice. I like that. I might have to manifest that for me. <sighs> yeah. But, yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I just... <sighs> I don't... <laughs> like, are you stressed? <laughs> because I feel bad of feeling the way that I do because in the beginning I wanted to talk to this boy so bad. She did. Rakiba, what should I say? Rakiba, da 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 da. I'm like, and I wanted to talk to him too because he was cute and a nice young guy, nice young man looked like. Yeah. But what happened? I, don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know. I do not know. I'm trying to figure out too because I thought after I thought after the first date. I'm like, okay, yeah, he's nice. I'm more excited than she is. And she was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. He was like, he was so nice. And everything that he was saying was like stuff that I want in a guy. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I don't know. He's just too nice for me. And I also think that. <laughs> I also think that it's the height too a little bit because I had on heels and I think I was taller than him and I don't like that. You scarred. You scarred Asian <laughs> for your last one. <laughs> you scarred. So, I just don't like that. So, okay, aside from him because he, he cool or whatever, like he nice and everything, but say it was a guy that was short and he had everything that you wanted in a nigga. Everything. But he was short. Okay, wait. Now, how short? How tall are you? Five three. <laughs> I ain't gonna do you too bad. He like, cause if you wear heels, you need him to be like. He like five 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 six, five seven. No taller than five eight though. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Okay, is it? Okay. <coughs> you got to answer. Okay, because I might. <laughs> like, if he got that, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. he got that. The minute he got that swag, then yeah, I might. He's short. Height is very important to me. Like, I need somebody that I can look up to with my heels on. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be eye to eye. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Yeah, I, I, we already short, so it just, yeah. Y'all know we talked about this before. The short 
no shade to short men or anything like that, but it just yeah. is a little struggle. So do you feel like if the boy was taller, would you talk to him? No. I still don't think you would. <laughs> I still don't think you would. Because ain't nothing wrong with that boy. He is not that short. He probably 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, okay, well, <clears throat> Ricky, but I felt like I could look over his head with my heels on. You didn't respect him. <laughs> you didn't respect him. I don't know, y'all. I just, I really just don't know what it is. And I, like I said, I feel so bad because... He he was great. Like, he really was. <clears throat> but I just can't. I can't do it. But if you watch this, please don't get offended. Like, I'm not trying. I'm, I'm really just being honest and telling what it is and how I feel. And it's just what it is. That was sweet. She being sincere. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Because... I mean, it's your truth. We're not being rude or nothing, but it's your truth. Like, yeah, I don't want him to get upset or anything if he watches. He seemed like a nice guy. I don't think he'll get upset. I never met him, but, you know, from what you say. Mm-hmm. Now, what is your type? What type of man do you feel like that you're looking for if that boy had a lot of the stuff that you liked and you still didn't like him? It's, okay, it's a type, like, it's a... <clears throat> It's a demeanor type thing, like mm, a it's a posture, a posture that <clears throat> a, that what am I saying, nigga? That a man has to really have a posture about himself that just turn me on and like really want to fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? It's like he he, he was tender. Yeah, he was tender. A little too Aww. like yeah, not like tender, tender, but he was just yeah. like really, really nice. Yeah, gentle, too a little too gentle. Yeah, mm -hmm. I need somebody to. She be, wants somebody to yoke up. Be, <laughs> be gentle, but like still, yeah. Talk, talk that shit. Yeah. You know. That's why I always say I want a nigga that'll let me have my way, but still will put me in my place a little bit. Right. Like, don't let me talk to you too crazy. I ain't gonna talk to you crazy anyways, but don't be so tender. Like. Yeah, like, what? well. I like nice, I like nice guys though. You do? I think I do, yeah. No, you don't. No, you I don't. don't like when people mean to me. No, you don't. Because you had a nice oh, guy no, no, and no, you didn't no, like no, it. He wasn't... He was, if he, he on a scale of 1 to 10 of nice, I give him about a 7. Because the other stuff that he wanted, I couldn't do. So that deducted some points. Nice or not, I'm not eating nobody booty. I'm sorry. He was willing to let that go, though. He he was. He said that. He said that, but he was not for real. I'm telling you, you he wasn't for real. Rick, he was. How do you... Because if somebody likes something, if somebody if something turns somebody on sexually and they're used to doing that, and then they get with somebody, if you be with them like for a long period of time, end up getting married to them, they're going to expect you to do that. I'm, I don't care what nobody says. Like... If they like that and you're going to be the person that they're going to be with for the rest of their life, they're going to expect you to do that. So a little backstory. This guy is a very nice young man. Very, very, very nice. I'm talking about one of the most smartest, mm -hmm. you know, very well-rounded, very well-educated hustler. Like, he got a lot of good things going for him. A gentleman. <clears throat> he is a real gentleman. And because he liked to get his, I don't want to say ass <laughs> What do men say? They like to get their butt ate? Yeah. That's what they say? What did he say? He he didn't say it like that. He was just like, you know, have you ever, like, while you was giving head, went just down a little further? <laughs> <clears throat> I haven't, and I won't. So, um... That's not the main reason I don't want to talk to him, but that is a reason that is in there why I don't want to talk to him. Yeah. But if he didn't have, if he didn't want to do that, I probably it would it would um, strengthen his chances. But I just, I'm sorry, y'all, I can't, I can't. You was mean to that boy. How? You you, you used to be mean to him. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. <clears throat> the attitude. Okay, but really, this is why I used to be mean. I had to figure it out because 
Once again, remember last time we told y'all sometimes I just be doing stuff and don't be having no business doing it. And so in this situation, he had so many good traits and qualities that I liked. So I'm thinking like, maybe he's just so different from what I'm used to. That's why I'm like self-sabotaging or like not giving myself a chance to really take him seriously because he's not what I'm used to. So I tried to give it a try so I can give him a fair chance. And I really think I had resentment towards him because I was giving him a chance when I knew deep down inside I really didn't like him. That's the only way I can put it because, yeah, sometimes I used to be a little snappy with him and he just was always so nice. He was. He Poor was. thing. So I do like nice guys like, because <clears throat> I feel like if I liked him, I would have never been snappy with him. Not saying like I didn't respect him, but it's just certain ways I'm going to talk to and I'm not going to talk to my nigga. Yeah. So when I had those moments where I kind of talked to him a little crazy, that just let me know that I didn't look at him as my nigga. And if you're watching this, <laughs> <laughs> do your little disclaimer. You know we are really good friends. There's a lot of love there, so don't take it personally because we've had this conversation multiple times. So if it so if it was a dude that you was really feeling, he was like really really nice, mm -hmm. like just always nice. You would you you would still fuck with him or like because oh. I know you said you <clears throat> want them to be nice but still pushing your place, but he was just nice, like and he let me run over him. Yeah. No, I don't want nobody run run over me. Like, let me run over them, I man. And the last one, he didn't really let me run over him because when I used to be mean to him, he used to get right with me. Oh, no, that's right. He used to get right with me. Ain't nothing wrong with a little bit straightening, you know? Mm -hmm. He used to get right. But <clears throat> now I don't want nobody to let me run all over them and talk to them crazy. I don't think I could do that either. Yeah, like, honestly, I don't be seeing how <laughs> females be, like, cussing out their boyfriends and calling them a bitch and stuff. Like... They do a lot. And a lot of them do that. Yeah, like this no shade, no judgment to anybody that does that, but I'm not it's, calling my boyfriend a bitch. Me neither. Like that <clears throat> can't even that won't even come out of my mouth, honestly. Even if he pissed me off to the max, I still could not come to call him a bitch. Like what? That's the ultimate disrespect. I feel like the meanest thing I ever said to um, <clears throat> one of my boos was like that he was broke or something. And that probably hurt him worse than calling him a bitch, honestly. Yeah. But they don't like that. That's probably the worst thing I said, like, you're broke ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, Child, I don't know what I done said. You said something like that, too? Uh, to who? Oh. Oh, I did. Mm-hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. I was mean to him. See? But he deserved it, though. He did. He did. So. Oh. What? I just had... A, I, I didn't really do stuff. I just had a lot of ideas about stuff I wanted to do. <clears throat> and say. What? To your... To your one book? of my ex-boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> you used to want to do crazy stuff. I did, because I had... De there was demons. He had put some demons in me, I believe. You remember you was wanting to put stuff around the school? That's what I was just thinking about. <laughs> And I was going to make posters, y'all. I was going to make posters and hang around that bitch. I was going to make posters and let everybody know he was a cheater. And y'all thought that this man was... Y'all thought he was a good guy? Y'all, I was down for the ride, but I really didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. Cause All I, my friends <laughs> like, yeah, okay, let's do it. Yeah. We were supportive. <laughs> but, and I'm like... If, if y'all don't want to do this, we don't got to do this. They like, yeah, we keep it. We really don't want to do it because it just, that's crazy. Like, we can't be doing that. What if we get caught? What if somebody see us? I'm like, man, fine. It was, it was extreme. It was extreme, but I ain't care. That would have been a mess. Listen. We were down for the ride, though. Yeah. I was going to do it. But, okay, so do you believe that we should have a roster? Because, um, what's that girl name? Um, that's saying, you want to hit him with a, uh, uh, -uh. Cal mm -hmm. Callie? Yeah. Cal what's her name? Callie. Callie. I think. Her and her boyfriend had broke up, like, 
a couple weeks ago or something I had seen, and she said a new spot just opened up on the roster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I like that. I know that boyfriend was sick because mm-hmm. why she said that? For real, that was crazy. But yeah, um, okay, yeah, I have been thinking about that because usually, no, I wouldn't have no roster mm-hmm. because it's hard for me to talk to multiple people at one time because I just be if it's that one person that I really really like, then they favorite. gonna get all my attention. Mm-hmm. And I ain't going to see nobody else. I ain't going to want to talk to nobody else. It's just going to be them. But lately, I've been feeling like I need to have options. Mm. Because just sticking with one and shit hit the fan and it don't work out, then you somewhere looking stupid. No, for real. I definitely believe, because I seen this quote and it was like... Women like to think of themselves as the prize, but they only let one person fight for their love. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I seen that too. Excuse me, y'all. This weekend, the mucus, <laughs> that drinking. But anyways, um, yeah, I seen that, and I was like, hmm, I got to thinking. They was like, that's not no prize. That's a participation award or something that they had said. And I'm just like, that's me. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, <laughs> that's me. Cause I be like. I'm the prize, and I be feeling like that too. But then it's like I let one person, mm-hmm. I cut everybody else off, or I don't like entertain other people because I'm only talking to one person. And he not even he not mm-hmm. even showing up to practice half the time. Like, why is you right. on the roster for real? <laughs> like, you ain't even you ain't even coming to the scrimmage. You yeah. you just out here just living. So yeah, I think in I think nothing's wrong with a little roster, but I don't think that. We should be fucking all everybody on the roster. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna fuck my favorite one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm probably just yeah. gonna do it with that one. But this then, the favorite one for sure. But then, like, you start talking to the other ones long enough, that they gonna start wanting. Well, then what you do? Because I was telling one of our friends the other day, because she was thinking about that too. I was like. Well, you need to just hang out with each of them once a week. Because mm-hmm. then, if you hang out with them once a week, your week is full, really, depending on how many people you got on the roster with work and everything else you got going on. You can you can juggle, like, two or three. You know what I'm saying? Is that the max? Or how many would, would you have on your roster? <clears throat> I feel like three is enough. Yeah, I, I think don't, three. I don't think I can go past three, four, if they just really talking that talk. But I think three is enough because... Yeah. I think that's enough for me too. Honestly, because that way, if be- I if I could have two favorites and then one is just kind of like you know out there just in case, but I could have a real favorite, a second favorite, and then just a free agent, kind of <laughs> <clears throat> for real. But four or five, that get a little too tricky, y'all. Women that do that, round of applause, because I don't know how y'all keep up with that. But do you think? Are you going to tell them that that's what you're doing or are you just going to... Well, honestly, I used to cool. try to hide from um, dudes. Like They used to be like, I know you got all the hoes and I know um, you talking to other dudes. And then I used to be like, no, no, I'm not. I'm only talking to you. Now I say, yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I'm talking to But I feel like when you, when you do that and say that, dudes be looking at you like, Oh, this girl got too much going on. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, Mm -mm. judging. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me tell you why. And that's what I used to think too. But honestly, I feel like a real man is going to stay around for the challenge. Mm. Okay, you you talking to other them? Is you having sex with them? Now, if he asks that and then you you let him know like, yeah, I'm having sex with this one (laughs) or I'm only having sex with you. I feel like you got to be honest. Yeah. You got to be a little player about it now. You can't tell all your business, spell all your means, but you got to think of a way to be player and tell the truth, but still get what you want. Because I know some, like some of my homeboys, they done told me they was talking to girls and they wanted to talk to the girl so bad. And she was like, well, yeah, I got like a boy I'm seriously talking to too, but I'm also dating, you know, seeing what's out there, seeing who like made the best man win. And he still wanted to fuck with her. I mean, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. It's like, it's not like you just out here just thotting and bopping around. It's like I'm seriously or I'm selectively talking to a couple of people. Mm-hmm. And whoever rises to the top, 
they get the prize. I, and honestly, even if I'm not talking to I'm most, still I'm still say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm still saying I am. And honestly, I just started thinking like that too because here recently when somebody said that to me and I was like, yeah, I am dating. I'm just seeing, you know, what's out there, what aligns with me. They was like, damn, well, you got to fit me on your schedule since you're so busy. I was like, okay, I like that. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Get on the schedule. For and real. versus me saying like, no, I'm not talking to anybody else. I only want to talk to you. Now you think I'm tender. Mm-hmm. Like, now you think I'm tender and now you might play with me a little bit. So, yeah, I don't think there's nothing wrong with saying that you talk to other people. Because a, a I'm nigga have, would. I'm going to sh- I'm have to try it. Yeah, <clears throat> because a dude would. Now, there's some people out there that's crazy that, I mean, not crazy. But... I feel like dudes be lying, though. <clears throat> what, about talking to other people? Yeah. Because I ain't never had a dude just come out and just tell me that he was talking to other people. I kind of just figured, but he ain't never just came out and said it. I don't know, because the first question I ask when I start talking to somebody is, when the last time you had sex? That's one of the first questions I ask. I don't ask that, because I don't care, and I don't want to know that. <clears throat> that helped me gauge if you was fucking with somebody else. Like, if you say, I ain't had sex in, like, three, four weeks, you ain't fucking with them too heavy. You might know, just, you know, had to get off real quick. But if you say, oh, I had sex last week, that's your boo. <laughs> Anything between that don't necessarily mean that's they boo. It could just been a little wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. I ask more questions, but I'm telling you, <laughs> I ask more questions, but I'm telling you, if it's in the vicinity of five to seven days, if if she if he not if she not his boo, then he is her boo. Like in her mind, she think mm. that's her man. I'm telling you, and I, and it be right, it be accurate in, in that five to seven day range. If it's two weeks or more. It's tricky. Three to four weeks, don't take it too seriously. Unless you just caught a dude like on a night where he just got something the day before. Because he'll usually be like, okay, I just I just did it last night, but it wasn't uh, too serious. Or if they did it last night, they'll usually say like three days ago. That's another thing. I'm not asking that. You <laughs> Listen, I'm I've not never asked. That. And I done, I done got it down to a science. I Yeah, you did it last week. You trying to say you did it too. It was last <laughs> week, boy. Uh, Why do you want to know that? Because for one, it helped me gauge, like, if I'm thinking about having sex with you, it helped me gauge, like... How long? Yeah. Mm. Because if you actively having sex with somebody else, I can hold off a little bit. Like, okay, go ahead, do that. And I'm going to see what you really got going on. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not actively having sex with somebody else... I'm going to hold off as long as the vibe allows me to. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to hold off as long as as my vibe allows me to. And this done got longer and longer. What's your, what's your, um, Max? Man, I really want to, I really want to test out the 30 day. Is it 30 or 90 days? What Steve Harvey said? I think it's 90. That's a long time. I did, I did a whole month before. I think the longest I ever did was a month. That's sad. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. Yeah, you, you can learn a lot about somebody in thirty days. Yeah. But that's yeah, that's the longest for me too. And people be like, "Oh, I had sex on the first night, and now that's my husband, mm-hmm. or now that's my wife, or whatever." So I do get the whole like, <clears throat> the timing don't matter. It just depends on the vibe. But then I also get like. Need to wait and get to know somebody. Yeah, yeah. Them soul ties is real. I, I'm fighting off a soul tie as we speak. Yeah. Of uncertainty, so y'all need to be careful who y'all let put they thing in you, females. But okay, okay. This is a question with the soul ties thing because I feel like it's different when y'all use a condom. Do you do you feel that way? <clears throat> if I use a condom, I'm not in love as quick. I feel like when I don't use no condom, I be in love. Like That's how I feel. Yeah, like, like My I feelings in, are stronger yeah. when I don't use one, but when I use one, it's like, okay, whatever. But I still, okay, it might not show as much, but I still feel like I picked up some type of energy transfer from the boy. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. But yeah, if it's no condom, I'm in love and 
<laughs> you might as well wrap it up. We go together. If it's good. Real bad. Yeah, if it's good and we don't use no condom, we go together. Like, in my mind, I'm already planning when we're going to start going together. <laughs> <laughs> For real. For real. Like, no, I'm, ar- I'm already thinking, like, okay, so we done hit it raw, so it's getting serious. <laughs> like, we're about to, yeah. It's about to, it's about to get there. That's, that's sad. That's crazy. That's sad. Delusional, for real. <laughs> that is delusional. <clears throat> I had to stop doing that. Yeah. Honestly, like I be so ready when it gets to the point where you ain't got to use a condom no more. Like that's my favorite point in a relationship because that's when it's like fresh and new, but it's like the feelings start getting strong. Mm-hmm. But I will use a condom as long as I can because I know when it come off, it's over with. I'm sprung. How'd you get me? Like, yeah, wrap it up. Mm. Well. Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> I feel the same. But condoms just get on my nerves sometimes. Condoms, they, they hold you back from tapping into your inner freak. Mm. I feel like you got to be... Condoms is just like so you can feel the vibe out. Mm-hmm. And then when you take the condom off, it's like you get the full experience. Yeah. Like the condoms is cool, but it's not really it's not really giving what it's supposed to give, but you, y'all still need to use them. We all still need to use them. Yeah, for because real. it's dangerous out here. That's facts. It's dangerous out here. <clears throat> no matter where you at. Because people always be like, you in Atlanta, da 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 da. It's dangerous everywhere, but I, I do believe it's dangerous in Atlanta. I will say that, but it's dangerous everywhere for sure. Mm. <laughs> it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you feel about um, spinning the block? Me, I don't spin the block. Mm. And. I'm not saying that I never will, but my past couple of relationships, I was gone and never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> I was gone with the wind, baby. But then you spend a lot with one person. Who? Who? <laughs> oh, yeah. See, okay. You did one time. Okay. I did that time, but I was, that's because I was just so in love with him. Mm. But after after him... He made me a little cutthroat. Yeah, because you spun that block with him. I did. I love that boy. Mm. I did. That was mm. sad. That was. <clears> that was sad me, when it ended. He put me through too much. He put me through a lot. So why you didn't want to be with him more in the end? What What was it? I just think I fell out of love with him. Mm. Because you feel like he pushed you away or you feel like you grew away? I feel like... He he kind he was kind of pushing me away because he was still doing stuff mm-hmm. and I and I was finding out putting two and two together <laughs> had me up at five o'clock in the morning and driving forty five minutes to see where you at that's crazy and where were you sitting at <laughs> outside his auntie house I sure was waiting because where the fuck was you at Ooh. I couldn't believe it. I was really stressing. I called him like almost a hundred times at night trying to figure out where he was at. So when he came to the house, what you did? You you ran up on him? (laughs) (laughs) You ran up on him? Yeah, he looked so shocked. Like, what are you doing here? Why he didn't answer that phone? Or at least call him Because he was doing something. He had no business. That's why. So did y'all both go into the auntie house or you went home? No. I left. I think. Did he come with me though? <laughs> no, I think he he was still at his aunt. He he stayed at his auntie house. But yeah, I think that was kind of the last straw. Mm. That's when like it really started going downhill from from there. Because I'm just like I'm tired. You already <laughs> done embarrassed me one time, and you just keep on keep on keep on doing stuff. Mm. Enough is enough. I feel you. Now, 
know, I was hurt. I was sad that I had to do that, but it just, I just couldn't do it no more. I couldn't. Mm. Sometimes you gotta let go and let God. Yeah. For real. And he tried so hard, like he did. He did, but he it was it was too late. <clears throat> it, it was. It was too late. I don't understand why dudes do that when it's too late. <laughs> then you want to get right. <laughs> That was sad. That was sad because that was my friend, and I experienced it. From both. you know, she played. She played both. Oh my gosh! No, sides. I didn't. No, I didn't. But I felt for him, and I believe that he really did change. <laughs> now I think he was really towed up about that last. That last time, I think he was really towed up because he could feel that you wasn't fucking with him no more. What? What? When we went to Punta Cana, or? What last time? No, now nah, Punta Cana, I was sad at Punta Cana. <laughs> <laughs> that was sad. That was sad. Oh, how you lose your girl on vacation? That would have hurt my feelings. But no, I'm saying like when it got towards the end of your relationship, I can't really remember. It's kind of blurry. But when it got towards the end of your relationship, and I remember he would just be telling me like, I don't think she fuck with me no more, and I just be like, don't give up, like. <laughs> <laughs> just don't give up just you know you just gotta try because you messed up so it's not gonna be easy I used to give him pep talks cause I wanted it to work out everybody did but you know I support my friend at the end of the day and she didn't want to be with him no more so when he told me that oh, told you what when he told me that he was gonna propose I say you might not want to do that. <laughs> you, you said that? You might want to wait. <laughs> I was like, oh, that is so sweet. When are you going to do it? And then he started telling me his plans, and I was like, you might want to hold off on that. You might want to hold off because I don't, I don't know right now. It's not looking like that. It's just looking like, you know, he tried, though. Yeah. Shout, out, you shout out to you, though. We see the growth. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. We do. Yeah, but that's just, it's over with. <laughs> I could, even, even now, like, he's cool. I still got love for him or whatever, but I couldn't see myself being with him. Mm. Well, I have spun the block once or twice myself. And you like spinning the block. Now let me speak for myself. I'm just saying you do. Let me speak for myself. Um, I used to engage in those activities, but when I was a child, I did childish things. Now I'm an adult, and I got to do grown woman things. And it's not always good to spin the block. I'm kind of fifty fifty on it. Like if it was just the wrong time, but the right person, I believe sometimes God will bring that back around to you, yeah. and you guys will meet like in a different part of y'all lives where it can work out. <clears throat> but if it was the wrong person, wrong time, everything was just wrong, and you try to spin the block back to that, it's just like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just nothing there, so you, you might doing? as well give it up. And I feel like that's the kind of spinning the block I was doing. Like, I knew it was over with, but I just would, they would say something to me, and I would just see, or I would have a feeling with them and I'll say something to them and then we'll just see. But all in all, all the all the old relationships I had, I I'm not going back to that. And honestly, I don't think they will come back either. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> not like that, but I'm just saying like we just so different now. Mm -hmm. Like we just completely different people. It just it wouldn't even make sense. For us to be together. Like me and any of my exes. But they all cool though. I'm cool with all of them. But as far as like being together. Nah. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's how that's how I feel. Like I, I usually don't spend a block. But like she said. It just depends on the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Like if I see that you, you're changing. And you know. We hang out. And spend time together. And I see the progress. Then Okay. We might, we might can work with some. Now, the, the only time I initiated spinning the block was one time with one of my ex-boyfriends. And it's just because I just had to make sure that nothing was there. 
I just had to make sure because it was around the time of the retrograde. And I honestly kind of believe, I, I don't really know too much about the retrograde, but what I was listening to people say, they say like when that come around, it bring back old feelings and stuff. And I don't know, that week I was having some strong old feelings. Like I was having dreams. I He was just on my mind heavy. So I'm just like, let me just text him and see what he say. And I texted him and I was just being nice to him and he was being nice back. And I was like, I'm going to be in your city. Let's, you know, let's hang out. And yeah. How did that go? Okay. Well, we went out to eat, but we went out to eat and like he from where we was at. So we went out to eat and one of his friends or somebody he knew had came to the table and they said, Hey to him. And he spoke to him. He spoke to them, but he didn't introduce me. I said, "Oh, it's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> it's over." <laughs> like what? Yeah, that's rude. Exactly. And everybody know. Even if you would be like, "Oh, this is my home girl, Rakiba." This, like, you ain't have to say this is my ex. This is my whatever. When he did that though, I thought like, "Oh, he think he in his head for real. Mm. Like, he in his head for real, and he not relaxed. And plus, like, even when we was together, I felt like he was so nervous that I was gonna." cuss him out or like hit him or something like he was just acting very jumpy and nervous mm. you don't get that boy ptsd <clears throat> no what i think <laughs> okay yeah i did Sad. go fool i did go fool after we broke up because he really broke my heart that was my first like real love i didn't understand what to do with them emotions at that time but what i really think it was when we when i spun the block was just like when he around me, he got to face all the bullshit that he put me through. Mm. So it's like, yep. yeah, we forgave each other. And yeah, that was a long time ago. But it's still like, when you think about me, that's still going to come to your mind. How I acted a fool and how, how you had me fucked up. Yep. So. <laughs> and I want you to remember all yeah. that too. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it wasn't going to work. Mm. But, you know. And when I finally got over that, that's how I knew I was set free. Yeah. So I had, yeah. I had needed that. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta you gotta do stuff like that, just just to see. Mm-hmm. Especially when it's on you heavy. Mm-hmm. You gotta just you gotta get that up off of you. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it was a good time, but like I said, unless it's like wrong time, right person, spending the block is pointless. Yeah. Like it's pointless. I agree. It's just like, I don't know. Because then, just, what? you got to, even when you spend a block, like, you yourself got to be okay with whatever that brings up. Like, whatever that uncovers from the past or, like, whatever. And I, that's probably why I can't do it because it brings up anger in me. <laughs> <laughs> I still be mad and I feel some type of way and you're going to be able to feel my energy. Yeah. So it's just like, I don't even want to put myself in that situation because I know I still feel some type of way about what yeah. happened. And that's why most of the time when people do spend a block, it don't be working because unless you really released all of right. whatever you was holding on to from the past, it's like, you're still going to be mad and you're still going to be like, I remember when you cheated on me with Delilah. <laughs> like for real. you gonna be like, I remember when you had me fucked up or when you did woo do and he gonna be like, bruh, get over it. Like we've had to, like yeah. Yeah. But if you come to me and you acknowledge your wrongs and you apologize and it's genuine, mm -hmm. then okay. I believe I'm, like, I'm gonna take it into consideration. Now I don't I'm not a always a believer of spending a block, but I am more so a believer of like second chances. Mm. Cause I do believe sometimes people get it wrong the first time and they learn from their mistakes and they're able to get it right moving forward. Mm -hmm. But if you're a repeat offender and you keep doing it over and over and over again, then you only got two times to do it with me. Because after that first time and you ain't learned your lesson, then I'm going to have to let you go. So there's no point in me spending the block if you cheat on me three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. That's too many. Yeah, like two. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's too Two, many. You know what I mean? <laughs> Two. If you cheat on me more than once, there's no point in me spending the block with you because Yeah. Like you show me what you you show me what you was on. Do you believe once a cheater always a cheater? No. 
I agree. I don't believe that. Cause I agree. People really can change, especially I feel like a dude when he know like that's what like you're who he wants mm -hmm. and he really trying to make it right with you, then he gonna get his shit together. Okay, so I feel like a lot of dudes cheat because, like, you know how when people say when women cheat, it's just more so emotional, and when a man cheat, it's just more so, like, they thinking in the moment. Like, I just feel like men don't be having, like, real self-control when it comes to sex in a lot of situations. That's sad. And that's not an excuse, you know what I'm saying, but, like... <clears throat> I don't know, because I always be wondering why little baby just keep che cheating on Jada. Yeah. Why he just keep cheating on that pretty bossed up female. Like, you know, any nigga would be happy to have Jada and he just keep cheating on her. And I just feel like he just can't handle himself in sexual situations. Like, he just, it just takes over him. That's the spirit. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's demons that they fighting for real. Mm. And that's why y'all need to stop. Might need to stop watching porn because it the spirits being there too. But how you know? Do like people still be watching porn? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why? That's another. That's another question I asked in the beginning. I asked that question too. Do you what? watch porn? You be asking on that? Not like the first date. But yeah, like when I'm getting to know somebody, I have to ask them questions like that. Because I once talked to a dude that was addicted to porn in his previous life. Not when he knew me, but before. And he would explain to me how it really had him like, it controlled him. Mm. Like he couldn't do nothing he with, without watching it first. Like, he mm -hmm. couldn't go on. You know what I'm saying? So, if you are that addicted to sex or the idea of sex, imagine what you like when a female that you attracted to is trying to fuck with you. Mm. Mm -mm. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I would not like that. But honestly, yeah. Cause that's gonna make me look at you funny. Like, why you gotta what? That made me just think that you don't really get no for real. <laughs> that's what I think. But but he was getting a lot. He was getting a lot. Well, that's what he told me. I wasn't there at that time, but I, I believe that he was. I just feel like he was just like you know how people. That's just an addiction, mm. <clears throat> like. An addiction comes in many forms, so you got to just be careful, like, what you indulge in and what you overly indulge in. But, yeah, it's just like being addicted to crack. That's true. Or alcohol or whatever the case may be. It's like something that you got to decide that you don't want to do no more. I can see why somebody be addicted to porn. <laughs> <laughs> For real. You ain't, you never watch porn? Yeah, I have. I can, see why some, I can see why somebody would be addicted to it, too, but... I had to stop watching it because it made me feel dirty. Yeah, like, it do. It just made me feel like dirty when I was watching. <laughs> when I was watching, I just was like, yeah, Ugh. yeah. And I just felt like God was looking at me watch it. What? So that kind of made me. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't even think about that when I was watching it. <laughs> Should have been. I don't think nobody think about that. That's just why I went that day. Okay, well, I got a confession. What? <laughs> what? I really don't believe that, like, once a cheater, always a cheater, because I cheated one time. Literally, I only cheated one time in my life, and karma karate chopped me up. So, <laughs> honestly, <clears throat> honestly, I felt really bad when I did it. Like, me and my boyfriend was about broke up with at the time. We was going through it, but that's still... That still was no excuse. I should have just broke up with him or did whatever before I did what I did. But it was already rocky. And it just kind of just happened. And then I just felt really bad. 
Like, I, I really felt bad. But I still wanted to break up with my boyfriend. I still didn't want to be with him no more. But I just felt bad because it's just like, now I'm keeping a secret. Mm. And now I can't tell you what I done did because I know we are <laughs> we already beefing. And if I tell you, you're going to be even more mad. So, I mean, I'm telling y'all, I done confessed to y'all, but I took that to the grave. Who, whoever, they'll never know. They will never know. <laughs> they will never know. But I'll tell you one thing. I never cheated again after that. Mm. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> tell your business now. I don't got to tell mine all the time. But maybe somebody can relate to what you got to say. Because I'm pretty sure somebody can relate to that. They probably... Don't cheat though, for real. Yeah. Ugh. Now, I... Okay. <laughs> because I don't really consider it cheating. Because okay, I I guess it would be, but me and him we was we was rocky too, so mm -hmm. it was like, yeah, <clears throat> I was still trying to figure out what I want to do, and it just kind of happened. It just kind of happened, <laughs> but I don't think I actually did the booty or nothing. Yeah, you ain't do the booty. You just <laughs> <laughs> don't piss me off. Ooh. <laughs> mm. That. Was... That was fun. That was a fun time. That, that was. was a fun I, time. I enjoyed. I I ain't gonna lie. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. You enjoyed what the the what, cheat, the, what I the did. Cheating? Yeah, with the person. Well, I, I ain't enjoyed mine. You didn't. I did the first time, but then this this when I started realizing that um dudes be like selfish during sex because he wasn't really a pleaser mm. he was really just more so worried about himself yeah and then we ain't really like like each other we was just doing stuff yeah because he had a girlfriend too like it was just it was just bad it was just so bad it was just so bad well i enjoy what i did <laughs> i ain't even gonna lie and i honestly didn't feel bad <laughs> I did not feel Yours bad. was different though. Yeah, I didn't feel bad at all. Because in that situation, you and the boy, y'all actually liked each other. Yeah. In this situation, me and the boy, we were just attracted to each other, but mm. we didn't we wasn't it was nothing else after that. Yeah. So yours blossomed. <laughs> <laughs> it did a little something, <laughs> but yeah, but that was the only time I ever did anything like that. Yeah, but honestly, even when I'm talking to dudes, I still, I be feeling guilty for talking to other dudes because I feel like, especially if we like kind of we locked in a little bit. If we not having sex, then I don't feel bad. Yeah, if we not having <laughs> sex, but if we having sex and we locked in. I don't know because I'm kind of I'm kind of making it like moving forward. I'm kind of making it a point to be on some stuff like if I'm not your girlfriend, yeah. If we haven't really That's how I feel now. I'm saying yeah. I used to be like that like. <clears throat> no, I feel you but but now baby. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm not your girlfriend and we not really locked in like and we don't have an understanding of like what we working towards, mm -hmm. I'm still going to live my life. With respect, should. with respect to myself, As you which should. is going to be respectful to you because I'm going to make sure that I'm, you know, okay in, in any situation I put myself in. But, yeah, I used to feel bad too a little bit. And then, like, say I was talking to two people at one time and I'd be on the phone with one of them and the other one would call me. It's like, <laughs> I can't say I'm going to call you right back because now I'm going to have to be on the phone for a long time over here. Mm -hmm. So that's why it, it usually didn't work well with me because I like to be on the phone, like FaceTime and stuff all day or throughout the day. And if I got to do that with two people, two, three people. Yeah, that's too much. That's why we got to tell people from now on that we're dating. All you got to do is say you dating. Yeah. And that's then ain't nobody going to care. But then niggas be wanting to ask questions and stuff. They be asking me questions and stuff. And I don't be wanting to answer all that. I tell them I'm dating and they be like, oh, so you like having multiple, you like talking to multiple dudes at a time? And I say, and I just say, no, may the best man win. That's my new motto. 
<laughs> when, the man went. when when I say that, they really don't have too much else to say because they understand that this is a competition. And the I'm person, gonna have to start saying that then. Yeah, because you know, boys like a challenge for real. Mm-hmm. Like they like to be the pursuer. They don't like stuff to be handed over easy to them. So I just be like, you know, you got a chance, but may the best man win. That's how you gotta start saying it. <clears throat> so ladies, <laughs> y'all need to start letting men fight for y'all and men. Do don't you, don't get mad when we do you. They doing it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but that's really what if you think about it, that's what really niggas do. Like, they mm-hmm. talk to multiple girls at one time, and then when they like they favorite one, when they decide who their favorite one is, they kind of cut them off. That's true. But they don't cut them off immediately, and they don't feel bad about talking to both of us at the same time. They don't. They gonna figure it out. But it's just so easy for them to do that. I'm trying to figure out why it'd be easier for them. I well, guess you know they say men, men aren't supposed to be with just one woman. They're supposed to have... Somebody said that the other day on Instagram. It was... I think it was... I don't know if she was future baby mama or... I think it was some girl that was fucking with future or somebody. And she was just saying how she agrees with a man having multiple women. Because she feels that a man should should have multiple women. That they they can't just be with just one. Mm. Well, I don't agree with that. But I don't either. I know one of my homeboys was telling me like the Western uh culture is the one who started like the one man, one woman type of scenario and that before that it a man could have multiple wives because I think, like, the number of women is more women in the world than men, so it helped to even out and help everybody to have a strong foundation and a village. That's where the term, it takes a village to raise a child, comes from and all that. Let me tell you something. I don't want that. I, um, I went on a show on BET, and I... Uh, some of the cast was uh, polygamous men, and one of them was a polygamous woman too. <clears throat> so I was talking to him about it, and when I heard like how they was describing it and how they was making a scene, I could understand why somebody who is into something like that would want to do that. Like it might sound hard to believe for us, but if you already open minded to the idea of, because even the girl she had, she had multiple niggas and she had a girlfriend. And everybody knew about each other. That's too much. Yeah, she was having her way. <laughs> she was having her you way. You had a girlfriend, Andy? Because I said, um, everybody's okay with this? She was like, yeah, they just all worship me. It's just like... I'm Is that okay, though? The queen. Is that okay? I don't think so. But <laughs> it's a lot of stuff people do that's not considered traditional or Okay. I'm really trying to reason that in my head, like I don't, I don't feel like I'd be okay with that. Mm-mm. The only thing, and I still think that this is weird as hell, but after watching Bridgerton and seeing like when the uh, man passed away and his cousin or his brother come and take care of the wife and the kids, oh. I still think that's weird, but I that's un, I can understand that a little bit more than yeah a polygamous relationship. You would marry your cousin? No, I marry my dead husband cousin. If I mean he was gonna take care of me and my kids, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Back in the day, like if, was, if I was on Bridgerton, I feel bad. Especially, okay. Not in our day and age, like not like right now. <laughs> like if I had a husband and he just died and the cousins try to come marry me like no i can understand why people just do that back in the day now some people probably still do that now though but yeah i think that's a little strange but i was watching um earlier cleopatra it was a documentary on her mm-hmm. and her daddy had died and so it was her and he had he had in his will he left he wanted her and her brother to be like co-rulers of egypt mm-hmm. and they had to get married 
to do that. And that was stuff that they did back then in Egypt. Brothers and sisters would marry each other. But that just seemed crazy to me. My Y'all brother, got the same mama and daddy. Right. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> but I mean, people like, people, I done seen stories where people like, the son fall in love with the mama. That's <laughs> sick. That is really sick. I'll never be able to understand that. Yeah. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. The, you know. That's it. I'm not judging nobody, but I couldn't do it. I don't understand how you would fall in love with your mom and you came out of her vagina. Uh, and then you want to. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but anywho, I don't even know how we got on this topic. <laughs> I don't even know how we got on this topic, but I do know polygamy is enough for me. Yeah, me too. So what if you was with a man? What if you was with a man and it's the love of your life and y'all done locked in, y'all locked and loaded, y'all together, and he tell you, I think I want to um, have another wife. I think that's going to strengthen our family if I bring somebody else in to help take care of the kids and stuff like that. And I'm going to say, you go ahead and you, you go do that. But I'm not staying here for that. You I know Joey Badass is into polygamy. Well, <laughs> he fine, but he ain't that fine. <laughs> now, I just, I don't like sharing my man. Mm-mm. That's the only <laughs> thing. Like, I do not like sharing my man. So, I'm no, I'm not into that. Because I want you all to me. Mm-hmm. I want all your attention on me. It don't need to be nobody else. No. I agree. Honestly, I feel like... Now, this is this is for real. I feel like the only... Nah, I still couldn't. Because I know some people who are into polygamy, but it's like... It's two separate households. Like, the, the man is able to take care of this household and this household without us ever having to cross paths. But me knowing yeah. that you have a whole nother family, yeah, that that don't sit right with me. I'm I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> like when when it's your, when it's her turn for you to come over yeah, there, yeah, because you're gonna have to do stuff with the kids. Yeah, I'm gonna be mad. Hmm. And don't try to bring them kids over, cause <laughs> now they brothers and sisters. You right. You're right. Now them kids is brothers and sisters, but that it's still it's still strange. I don't think I still I don't know about that. I still wouldn't know about that, but mm-hmm. I'm not going for it. And then people be the the girl was also saying how like the selection of men out here is slim. So basically, she don't mind sharing a good man. <laughs> <laughs> She don't mind sharing a good man with another woman as long as they both get to experience a good man. Mm. I say you are very mature. That is very mature. In a different Th- type of way. I, Cause I could care less what I can, next. Yeah. next <laughs> I can. I understand. Like when she put it like that, I understand that. But I understand that as well. But you can go find another good man somewhere else. You don't have to get mine. Well, she said it's it's slim. It is, but let me tell you something. If 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 I gotta share my good man with you, so both of us have a good man, he ain't gonna have one good wife. Because <laughs> I would no be in there. I would be in there acting up. I know I am. I already know I am. Cause I cause I don't pos- I don't think it's possible for you not to naturally <clears throat> like one or the other more than the other one. Like, I know people be like, they don't got favorite kids. Everybody got a favorite kid. Mm-hmm. Like, it don't matter what your mom and daddy say. I'm sorry, Billy, but you're not the favorite. Somebody <laughs> else is the favorite. Or maybe you might be, but every parent got a favorite child, whether they say or not. So, I don't want to have a favorite, though. I don't want to do that. A favorite child? Yeah. I'm going to feel have, bad. You're going to have one deep down in your heart. Yeah. You might love all of them the same, but it might be one that they just know when it comes to them. Mm-hmm. You don't play about them. But, okay, in a polygamous relationship, say it's four of us. It's four wives. 
There's no way that that husband is gonna like every single wife the exact same. Yeah. He gonna like one more than the other. Right. So and what you gonna do if you not that one? I'm gone. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if I'm the one, I might be like, all right. <laughs> Y'all know who Big Dog is. Don't yeah, play with me. For real, like, but no. But if mm-mm. if I was like the second favorite or the third favorite, I might as well leave. Yeah. But then it's like the man can have all that, but then the woman can't have nobody else in certain relationships. In certain relationships, when it's polygamous, they like the man will have multiple women, and the woman is allowed to have multiple men too. That's that's too much going on. <laughs> that's too many body fluids going on. Like that's just yeah, because y'all definitely not using no condom. If all of these is like yo, like people that y'all really like and really want to be with, yeah, y'all is not using no protection. Mm-mm. I don't like that. And then like the girl, she was in a situation where she could have men and women, <laughs> and her man knew about it. But she didn't Walk want. She, but she didn't want them to have nobody else. She's a powerful being. Yeah, for real. If she can if she can um, finagle all that and everybody cool with it. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I said I don't understand it, but you got it, girl. <laughs> like I, I couldn't. It couldn't be me, but more power to you. But just imagine. You like having a whole bunch of niggas, like, and you actually like them, and they just all just cater to you and worship you. Yeah, like that would be nice. Face. She was trying to get me on the um, polygamy train. <laughs> she was. She was trying to sell me that dream. But let me tell you something. I just need one nigga to do all that. Just, yeah. just give me one good one that'll uh, look out for me and take care of me and love me, and we'll be fine. Yeah. Five, five or six of them doing that, and that would be nice, but... You getting a whole bunch of stuff, multiple gifts and stuff. And you also probably having sex every day because you got to keep all these men happy. That's... Like, I just think about the sex aspect <laughs> part because I know some people want to be polygamous so they can freely have sex with multiple women or multiple men, but, like, if that's not your sole intentions and you just happen to fall in love with this man and this man and this man... Can you fall in love with that many people at one time? I don't know. I never been. I only been in love with one person at a time, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I mean, I, I some people do be like you can fall in love with multiple people at one time. Mm. I never. I don't, yeah, I've never experienced that. I don't think I want to experience that. That's too much on me. Yeah, to I be, be in love. With, yeah, because then who I'm gonna pick? Because I'm not. I'm not gonna be polygamous. So, who I'm going to pick? I'm going to have to choose one of y'all. But, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I be feeling like the polygamy uh, females, they don't be caring about, um, like, you know how we be saying, like, the pickings are slim and stuff. It's probably not slim for them because they dealing with Mm -hmm. niggas who can freely fuck with other females. Mm-hmm. So they probably y'all probably y'all probably like I don't know what these non polygamous people is, is saying because we is out here having our way. Uh, I still don't want to do it. That's what I say. I still cannot. I don't care. I feel like the two biggest things <laughs> that I just cannot do is be in a polygamous relationship. And eat my man booty. I knew you was gonna <laughs> say that. I knew you was gonna say that. Man. I don't think I could ever do that either. Like, man. It's just it's it's the scenery for me because what like you're gonna be bent over or I just how- think about you tooting your legs up in the air. Like I just when I think about that, I just think about the man having his legs tooted up. Because how else is you gonna get down to the booty hole? That's gonna turn me off. Cause why is you laying on your back with your with your legs up in the air? That need to be me. Or like if they lay it down and they gotta, uh, <laughs> they gotta I don't put even their think about up. that. Because I just don't feel like a nigga need to have his legs open like that when we having sex. Yeah, honestly, 
it, it, it be a little touch and go with me when it comes to the gooch too, because that's very close. Like I do the gooch, but it's yeah, it's close. It's close. You can't make no sudden movements, cause then you might be at the booty hole. So I don't know. Now, one thing I will say when it comes to that though, when I get married. I cannot say that I will or won't do that only because, now listen, just listen before you make all them faces. <laughs> Sorry. I can't say if I will or won't do that because one of my homeboys brought it to my attention. He was like, it's a lot of stuff I said I never do with a female, but when I'm married and that's the only female I can ever interact with for the rest of my life, we might have to try some new things to spice it up. So, I guess that's understandable. That's if, the, if we marry. Yeah, yeah, if I'm married, that's the only way I will consider. But that's going to be like after about five, ten years of marriage that I'm like. But hitting the ass? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to start gagging or something. Because <laughs> I know it probably stink back there. I just keep thinking about Suki saying. And I'm going to hit niggas ass. <laughs> <laughs> like girl why you said that but i ain't gonna lie i know it's a lot of a lot of dudes that really like that and they it feel good that's what a g-spot is mm. i'm sorry don't expect that from me if you want to talk to me and you like that <laughs> just just go ahead and pass me by <laughs> go on on <laughs> go on go on, go on, on no. like listen because i'm not about to do that Mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's just it's scary (laughs) it's scary but Mm. I think we should end it on that note because that's just I just feel like I need to um, I just got an image of like a dude lifting his legs up I don't want to think about that like I'm trying to get it out of my head but it's just like how else do you get down there that's what I'm saying. Or unless they on their hands and they knees. That's no. disgusting. They might. On your hands and knees? Uh, I don't that know. I've you, never done it. That I've never means you'll it. take it in the ass. You what know. position do y'all be in when y'all get y'all butt eight men? Because I don't know. I think they just lay down and toot their legs up a little bit. Or you got to go down there like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh-uh. No. I'm not even going to want to have sex no more. Just nope. Mm-mm. I'm ready for us to have this conversation in about um in about thirty years, twenty, thirty years when we done got married, married and stuff. And we probably gonna be on there and be like, Yeah, I'm gonna aim my husband ass a little bit. You 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 gonna do it too. Girl, you gonna do it too. Especially if it's a man you love and he gonna hurt you out, you'll be eating that ass. <laughs> You know what? I can't even deny it because if I'm in love, I'm I'm probably gonna do whatever to please my man. That's what I'm saying. If I'm in love and I'm married, there's I cannot not I can not say what I will and won't do because I haven't been married. I don't know what that's like. But a boyfriend? Mm-mm. Never. Mm-mm. Never. Never. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna have to revisit this conversation in thirty years. Yeah. Twenty thirty years. We need to we need to get some men's on here and see what they say about it. Oh yeah, because that's something y'all said too. Comment down below if y'all want to start having guests because I I think it was like episode four maybe it was three or four when we was talking about stuff and people was like they wanted to hear a male's perspective on it. So mm-hmm. let us know. Um, and if y'all in Atlanta or y'all know people in Atlanta who also do YouTube. <clears throat> or have channels, have podcasts, you know, let us know who they are because we would love to collaborate and connect and network with other, you know, people, like-minded people. Right. And also comment how y'all feel about this episode, how y'all feel about eating ass. <laughs> <laughs> are you, would you do it? Spinning the block, everything we talked about, <clears throat> comment your opinion down below and make sure you go like. Polygamy. Polygamy, all we that. was kind of all over the place. We was talking this about was everything. a good episode, but this was just kind of like, yeah, you know, all over the place. 
But make sure y'all go like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can know when we drop our videos. And yeah, stay tuned for our vlogs and our next episode. Period. Because we back on that. Yeah. All that. All right. Love you guys. Bye.